Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at my ESCA 2022 M4. So the ESCA rulebook has been released. So some changes have happened to this M4 when it comes to some of the aero and tires and things of that nature. So we're doing a little bit of testing. And as you can see here from the background, we're testing a different power plant. So we're going to be doing some solo testing today. We're going to be getting Addy and a couple of the other guys on to do some tandem testing in it but we are testing a different power plant for legality purposes for esda in this comp car so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all in the description box below let's get to it so like i said we are testing a new power plant here solo before we get into testing with tandems to see if we can handle it it is a v8 out of a formula drift car now the reason we are testing this is because of the new rules and everything with dyno sheets and everything wanted to make a correct engine that other motor i was running was kind of like a party motor so it was kind of uh not i guess you would say competition legal so for legality aspects of this car We've adjusted some of the, we've removed the diffusers, adjusted the aero, adjusted the colliders, tires, and things of that nature. So we're going to go full send here. Two runs here at Long Beach. Then we, after we figure out this mo engine platform, what we're doing, we'll adjust the model accordingly with the, the engine and everything inside. So full send here at Long Beach. We'll stall off the line. Did not heat up my tires. No warmth in the front tires whatsoever on this run. So we had no heat in the front tires. We kind of slipped going into the first zone. So this is just solo testing to get a basis on if this works. We are a little bit down on power from what we were at. We're only just under 900 horsepower with this and we were over a thousand with the other motors so we're going to be testing this against like Addy's dmvc uh a90 which is a really fast car and some other cars to see if it can keep up now the power on command the linear feel is really great that's why i ran v8 to my other cars for comps so we're going to do another run and then we will take a look what it looks like from the outside of the car and we'll switch up tracks and do some testing on some banks and stuff like that A little bit more grip in the front tires there. Oh, we cut that one a little bit short. A little bit of a wall tap there. But overall, not too shabby. So let's go take a look what it looks like outside the car. That lumpy idol of that V8 for sure. All right, let's see what we got. First run out. A little bit wide there because we didn't have grip in our front tires. But overall, not too bad. I can actually say that that's not a terrible run for the first run out with this engine. So like I said, it's a totally different power plant. The tires are the new legal tires. That body roll is insane back there because we don't have any, uh, any roll bars or anything turned on. So let's take a look at the second run. Of course, the car does sound amazing in the VA platform. Let me know what you guys think down below. But also let me know what FD car you think this engine is from. It is from an FD car and that is why I pulled it because there's actual dyno sheets and things like that so we are testing it in this m4 so that second run out let's see what we can do in that second run i feel like the entry was a little bit better and then we kind of got a little wonky at the end yeah much better entry a little shallow there but oh right nice deep in there and then we angled a little bit too hard yep there's a little wall tap 
not too bad of a wall tap. Didn't mess us up too, too bad. So the car is definitely handling very well with the adjustments and the physics that I need to do. So now let's go take it to a bank track and see what we can do there. So we did bring it out to OSW because we're going to test it at OSW and then we're going to go test it at another track um, to test kind of more of a flat high speed style track to see if we're able to run it there. But I want to test kind of a tight technical ish banks track and then a full flat out track. So one thing we are going to do is heat up these tires. I'm noticing these tires do have a different heating curve is what I was practicing on originally. We got to do a little warming up. Quick few runs here at OSW. Little wall tap there. Overall, that was not a very bad run at all. So like I said, we are gonna take a look at the outside view, but trying to adjust the engine platform to for a competition car to make it legal is very uh, different than just putting an engine in for a party car. I gotta make sure things all match up, the suspension increments and everything are all correct. So we're gonna try one more run. That's a wall. Kind of got thrown off a little bit by that wall. I may have accidentally knocked something loose. But when you have a competition car, there's some things that are way different than just building a party car because they kind of want the car to be as you could build it in real life. So that's why we are putting this type of motor in because the other motor I had had slightly unrealistic curves for what I was tr saying it was. So we could adjust that a little bit, but we're testing this motor out here. We were nice in the wall. Oh, just a little wall tap, nothing major. Let's see where I was in this crease because that's one spot that I always go a little bit too high. We are right on that yellow line. So that second run out, we were nice and high and then we kind of had a little bit of a flub on the wall. Right there, that, oh yeah, we actually hit wheel on that. That's why the car felt a little awkward going in because we tapped this wheel a little bit. So we may have knocked it a little bit out of whack. That's why when I gave it brakes, the car decided it wanted to flick around. So overall on banks, the motor seems great. We're gonna go check out on a high speed kind of flat track and then we'll, uh kind of digress that after that so we are here at Masano circuit this track is definitely a much faster track but it is kind of a flat track so we're gonna see where we're at it's probably gonna be a fifth gear to fourth I did test this track once before with Addy so we'll see how this compares to when I was driving on the other motor Uh, actually overall quite surprised now we're gonna find out if my pit button decides to break my wheel at the end of this we're gonna just drive it back and then we will take a look at the replays kind of see where my uh, lines were we were actually pretty good through that a little shallow there I can see here we got a little bit wonky we were nice there we we're able to bring it in there so overall not too bad of a run um, I really can't wait to get this car in tandem with all the adjustments to see if the car can hang or if we need to uh, develop a new motor real quick. 
But we're gonna see where we're at right now. Too much into the wall. We always wall tap it on the second run. Let's see if my spawn to pits actually breaks it this time. It does. When I use my spawn to pits there, it kind of stops my wheel. Uh, so I need to find out why spawn to pits worked on my wheel, but not here. It's got to be something with the actual button that I keyed in is causing it to actually shut off my wheel. So let's take a look at the replays, though. We're going to have to address that spawn to pits issue. So let's take a look at the I have to watch it from probably F5 cam. Kind of see where we're at. Oh, we can watch it from box cam. So the Sano track, let's see, kind of see where we're at. Second hash there, a little bit of understeer. Quick flick there. Kind of punted that cone out. Pretty deep in that wall, so overall, quite happy with how that run went. Second run was a little bit weird. A little bit too much braking on that. Kind of drifted out wide there. And then, of course, we go a little bit too hard into the wall right there so a little bit of changes here to the pro car and gonna be doing some testing in tandem so make sure you guys follow me on all social media all from box below as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit see you guys on the track